5 Real Magicians Number 5. Golden Dawn Officially known as the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, this was actually a group that dominated the formation of occultism in the 20th century in Western society. Golden Dawn was a magical order that was active in the late 19th and early 20th centuries in Great Britain. Although the order once splintered, reconciliation was realized and the order lives on into the 21st century in the form of two distinct orders. Number 4. Samuel Little McGregor Mathers Mathers was the most influential founding member of the Golden Dawn Magical Order. Mathers had a fondness for magic, occultism, and mythology. He led a very rare lifestyle for his time. He was a practicing vegetarian and non-smoker. He was known for ostensibly facing off against pagan gods in a game of chess. According to fellow members of the order, Mathers would make his move and then cover his eyes as he waited for the signal of a move from his opponent. No one ever recorded who won. Number 3. Alistair Crowley Crowley was a strong believer in magic and the occult. He was responsible for developing the theory of Theolema. The basis of his theory is the idea of the sovereignty of will. His most famous quote is Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Crowley led a controversial lifestyle for his time, experimenting with various drugs and openly talking about sex and sexual acts. Number 2. Penn and Teller Penn and Teller are a famous duo of illusionists that perform their magic tricks in a live Las Vegas show as well as occasional television appearances on shows like Late Night with David Letterman and Saturday Night Live. Their bag of tricks is not very deep, but Penn and Teller are known for edgy performances and have garnered a good deal of respect among the public. Number 1. Siegfried and Roy Siegfried and Roy, like Penn and Teller, are illusionists that perform predominantly in Las Vegas. Unlike Penn and Teller, Siegfried and Roy are known for large-scale, flamboyant shows during which they most commonly make large carnivores disappear and reappear to the amazement of onlookers. There would be no Las Vegas magic show circuit if Siegfried and Roy had never come along. <laughs>